Jim Dawson will be riding through that canyon on his way to the river. If he's alone, you know what to do. I'll be waiting for you at my ranch. All right, Lynch. That's Tim Dawson now. Let him have it. Get back and tell Lynch. Job's done. Well, you fellows have earned your cut, but you'll have to wait a while to collect. How long? Only a few days. I've got to wait till they find out he's dead before I can have the will open, don't I? Lynch, are you sure you'll get by with that forged will? Yeah, you were only his half-brother. Is it going to seem right, him leaving everything to you? You're sure taking a long chance. Well, I had to. You know I've got to have money. Well, what's the next move? We'll just sit tight and see what happens. I do hereby bequeath my entire estate. <coughs> Wait a minute now. I always have trouble with these legal terms. Yeah, so I notice, so I notice. The trouble with you, Judge, is that you can read reading, but you can't read writing. Here, let me have that thing. I know all about them legal terms. <coughs> well, all you folks pay attention to this now. <coughs> Uh, this being my last will and testament, I do hereby bequeath my entire estate, both real and personal property, to my half-brother, Jay Lee. But doesn't my father's will even mention sugar and me? Not a word, Miss Dawson. You heard it. Well, surely something must be wrong. There it is. Dad wouldn't do that. We'll see about this, sugar. You know what's funny? Women are never satisfied when I read a will. Betty, I'm sorry for you and Sugar. Things turned out the way they did. But since I'm the owner of the ranch you're living on, I'll have to ask you to get off. Where'll we go? 
What do we do? You'll have to figure that out yourself. That's your problem. I've figured it out. We won't get out. Well, so far, everything's worked out just as we planned it. And if we have any trouble with that girl, we'll have the sheriff throw her off of the property. Forget the sheriff. I'll take care of this myself. Whoa. It's going to be hot today. I have the hunch it will be hotter where we're going. I don't know what you're worrying for. We've been in hotter spots than this. But, Senor Tom, I must worry. I am unhappy if I don't worry. You see, if I don't worry, I'm very unhappy. But if I worry, I'm the happiest man in the world. Yeah, because I love know, I know, I know. If you don't worry, you're unhappy. And if you worry, you're, you're happy. And you don't want to be unhappy because you like to... Oh, you got me doing it. Come on, let's get out of here. Just the same, I got him worried. Senor, it says keep out. But look, first you say welcome, then keep out. <laughs> In other words, we are welcome, but keep out. What's the use of being welcome when we have to keep out? In the other words, we have to be welcome on the inside before look, we can keep out. Do I have to listen to that? I was just explaining the sign. We'll soon find out. But just the same, how can you be welcome when you have to keep out? I don't know. I have to keep out before you go in. I just left the Dawson Ranch. How did it go? Well, last night we paid off our riders and they quit the country. Well, what about the cattle? Well, we took care of that this morning. Uh, we took every hit of the Dawson stock and put them in your south pasture. We had trouble with that girl, though. Well, I expected that. Did my lawyer show up? Yeah, Rip and Drifter went with him to her ranch to see that she clears out. And I'm telling you, I won't give up this place. Uh, now, Miss Betty. This is not a personal matter. I'm just simply trying to point out the law. When your father willed everything to Mr. Lynch, that'd give him full possession. There's another thing, Miss Betty, that I must inform you about. That in staying here, after you've been ordered to leave, makes you and Sugar trespassing. <laughs> right. You can call it trespassing if you want to. But I say this is our home, and we're staying. Yes, that's right. What I've just said is final, and you can tell that to Jay Lynch. Ruffians. Betty, are you sure you don't want to change your mind? Now that I've got the Dawson cattle, I'll start selling and you fellows will get your money. What about the money you owe Gordon on that gambling debt? If you don't pay him pretty quick, you're not going to be around to sell anything. Well, why do you suppose I've been doing all this? Bronco, take a trip over the border and see Gordon. But don't tell him where I am. 
And just find out how many head of steer it'll take to settle my debt. Okay, I'll be back in a few days. You two keep your eyes open. I'll see you later. I wonder who they are. It don't matter. Lynch ought to know one could come in here. Well, then let's turn them back. Oh! Just where do you two think you're going? We're heading up this trail. You mean you're heading down this trail? If you know the answer, what do you bother to ask us for? None of your left. Get going. All right, Lopez, uh, let's do as the gentlemen say. That's what I say, senor. Come on, boys. Put them up. Get their guns, Lopez. We pleasure. Oh, excuse me. Thank you very much. I got a nice little message for my friend over there. <laughs> chasing a couple of birds. Did they come in here? They sure did. I'll trouble you fellas to put those shooting irons out of sight. And hereafter, keep them out of sight. What do you mean, busting in here like this? What do you mean, blocking an open trail? There is no open trail. This is my property. Now get off. All right, we'll get off when we get ready. I only wanted to ask a few directions. There's only one direction, and that's the way you came. Now get going. Hold it! If you block the view, I have to make peepholes through you, have I? to know is, uh, which way is the Dawson Ranch? Two miles. That way. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Hey, did you hear what he called us? Gentlemen.
things sure look bad for us, sis. Don't you worry your little head, sugar. We'll make out somehow. It's almost eating time now. You better go wash your hands and face. Can I put the horses up first? Sure. What do you two want? I'm looking for Miss Betty Dawson. I'm Betty Dawson, and I'd still like to know what you want. It is killing the way one is greeted in this country, no? You're not kidding, either. Don't you think you can put that away? I'm Tom Sterling. This is my pal, uh, Lopez Mendoza. We're looking for work, and uh, I heard you needed some help. You heard right, Mr. Sterling. I do need help. But I'm afraid it isn't the kind of help you could give me. You see, I haven't any cattle. My boys have all been run off. I guess in a day or so, I won't even have this ranch. Well, uh, you are in a fix, aren't you? But uh, maybe if you gave us a job, we could help you out. Isn't that right, Lopez? Si, senor. Yes, you could be of some help. I don't know how I'd pay you. Well, uh, we won't worry about that now. Tell me, what happened to your cattle? Jay Lynch took them. That's his ranch you just rode through. Oh, he did, huh? Now I know we want that job. Tell me more. Well, you see, my father... I'll show that gal she can't stay on my property. You birds don't know how to handle women. Come on. So, Dad's will makes him the legal owner, and he's ordered us to get out. Are you going? I've bluffed as long as I can. I guess we'll have to give up. Oh, no, you won't. We'll take a hand in this, and uh, we'll all bluff them together. You don't know what you're letting yourself into. I'll take a chance. We're moving your cattle back tonight. From now on, I have something in mind I want to tell you about. Well, come on in. Let's talk it over. It's about dinner time, and you fellas must be hungry. Oh, senorita, when you talk about food, how well I remember our last meal in Juarez. I never Lopez, even... Lopez, please. Si, senor. warning you to clear out. Now, what do you say? Just this. I told her she was tough to handle. Let's get the sheriff out here and run her off. Keep the sheriff out of this. We don't want the law button into this thing. I'll figure a way to run her out of here yet. Yeah? You and who else? Do. They've left, haven't they? <laughs> they sure did. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the next move? Let's get our horses. We're going after the cattle. Come on, Lopez. Yes, si, senor. That's some of our cattle down there. better pick them up in about groups of 20. Uh, Lopez, you and Sugar push them along. Betty, you better ride the point. Uh, work as uh, quietly as possible and we'll run them up the draw. Say, Lopez, are you any good with that rope? Me good with the lariat? My little senorita, in my country, I am the king of the ropes. You just watch. Hey! 
your cattle. <laughs> I sure would like to see Lynch's face in the morning. Yeah, well, don't worry. You will. <laughs> Lynch, we've been double-crossed. You ain't got no cattle. What do you mean? Remember that stock we put in your south pasture? Well, it's back in Dawson's Corral. We saw them there. I get it. It's those two saddle tramps. They've tied in with Betty. Boss, that's plain stealing. Now I'll run them all off. Drifter, ride in and get the sheriff and bring him to Dawson's ranch. We'll meet you there. All right. Besides being the best vaquero in my country, I also am a very good trapper. With me, it is one of the arts. Where in the world did you get all those traps? Oh, some I bring in the saddlebags, some I make, some I find in the woodshed. So you see, to be a good trapper, you must first learn to trap the trap. <laughs> <laughs> you sure have a lot of them. Oh, that's nothing. Already this morning, I planted a lot of bear traps all over these hills. <laughs> oh! Oh! Get <laughs> something out there! I love you! Hey, uh, what do you mean sneaking up on me like that? You know, uh, I might be a little nervous. <laughs> I didn't get a chance last night to thank you for helping me with the cattle. Well, uh, <clears throat> why thank me? I'm, I'm working for you. But there's something I don't understand. What do you hope to gain by helping me when I can't win? What do you mean you can't win? Anyhow, I like helping folks when the odds are all against them, so, uh, keep your chin up. Anyhow, we'll, uh... We'll figure something out. I knew that Lynch should be showing up. Back again, huh? Hey, what are you doing there? Making a flag of peace. I don't want that girl to shoot me. Don't be yellow. Put her down. Well, uh, you, uh, you know what to do. Stick up that flag! They're waving a white flag. Yeah, that means a uh, peaceful visit. Tell them to come on in and uh, we'll uh, see what they have on their minds. Come on in! Listen, Betty, I sent for the sheriff. Unless you return the stock you stole from me and get out of here, I'm making charges of cattle stealing against you. Now, what do you say? Her answer is no. You keep out of this, you cheap saddle tramp. Overdue. 
going on here? Sheriff, I want this man arrested for stealing my cattle. And I'm charging his pal and Miss Dawson with helping. You sure you're doing the right thing, Lynch? Got the proofs and all? Plenty of proof. You'll find my stock lock in the Dawson Corral. They took them off my ranch last night. Well, what makes you think they took them? Me and Drifter saw them. Well, what have you got to say to that? They're right. We took them. But we didn't steal them. That stock happens to belong to me. He's bluffing, Sheriff. Jim Dawson willed that stock to me. How about it, Reigns? Yes, sir. He signed, sealed, and delivered. And in case there's any argument, here's the will. Yeah? And while you're looking at that, you might take a glance at this. This happens to be a bill of sale for that stock that you accused me of stealing. Well, to whom it may concern, I, the undersigned, do hereby sell to Tom Sterling for one dollar and other valuable considerations all of the livestock belonging to me. Well, it's signed Jim Dawson. Why, Jim Dawson's dead. How could he give you that? Naturally, he gave it to me before his death. So you see, he couldn't will them to you. Therefore, they're legally mine. Well, I guess that settles that. You can't arrest a man for stealing his own cattle. Well, what'll I do? You have a lawyer, haven't you? Take it to court. If you think you've got a case. Wait a minute. While you're here, I want you to throw the Dawsons off this ranch. And that takes a court order. And in case you get one, drop into my office. Uh, so long, boys. All right, mister. Remember, you asked for it. Say, was that bill of sale on the level? It worked, didn't it? You wait here, Pecos, while I tell Lynch you came with me. All right, but make it snappy. Hiya, Lynch. Well, the deal's all set. Gordon will settle for a hundred head, but you gotta deliver him right away. Sorry, Bronco, there is no deal. Well, why not? We haven't any cattle. What happened to the Dawson stock? It's all back on her ranch. Gordon won't like it. Well, he don't have to know, does he? Forget him. You can't forget him. He sent Pecos with me to close the deal. I thought I told you not to let Gordon know where I am. Well, I had to when he sent Pecos with me. What are we going to do? Well, there's only one thing to do. We've got to get the cattle back. Over Sterling's dead body. You said it. We've got to get rid of him first. Let's have a talk with Pecos. Senor, I don't understand one thing. What's that, Lopez? Why are we losing time helping a girl argue over who owns a ranch or not when your own business is so important? It all fits in with a little idea I have in mind. How do you figure that? Our job is to stop cattle stealing in this territory, isn't it? Si, senor. So I figure if we can nail whoever's buying stolen stock, the rest of the job will be easy. Oh, then you think this buyer is mixed up in the ranches, huh? No, not exactly, but I'm hoping it may give us the lead as to who it is. Well, I hope you are right. One minute. I got a big surprise for you. Tom! Senor Tom! Tom, I got caught in this trap over here. Do something for me. Oh, please. I, I, I caught in my old trap. I suppose to have to bear it. I got my foot. Oh, come on. I got the trap. Oh. Come on, quick. I guess the surprise is on me. I told you these traps would get you in the end. I was hoping to catch a big bear. Why don't you quit fooling around with these things? I want a fur to make you a nice coat. I don't want a fur coat. He don't want a fur coat. All my work for nothing. Take your foot out. <coughs> Come on. You don't want a fur coat? You'll be sorry. We can't kill him here and steal him cattle. 
Everything would point to you. Wrench, no wonder you're in debt to Gordon. Why don't you get smart? Now for a thousand bucks, I'll show you how to do it and do it. All right, how? Well, send one of your men to see him. Someone he's never seen before. Then, we'll make this kind of a deal. You're Sterling, ain't you? Yeah. I've been hunting you in the hills. I want to talk to you about your cattle. Go ahead, start talking. What price you holding them at? I hadn't thought of selling them. Well, when I tell you what I know, you all sell them. What's that? Lynch owns all this grazing land around here, don't he? I guess he does. Well, that puts him in control of the water. I heard him say he was shutting it off to you. The nearest market's a hundred miles away. That's bad. What's your proposition? I know a buyer not far from here who will offer you a fair price. Where can I find him? At Wagon Springs. I can have him there. How do I know he'll buy them and that uh, he'll offer me a fair price? I'll guarantee it. All right. Tell him I'll head him over that way in the morning and uh, thanks for tipping me off. Okay. I think I got that lead. But, senor, what good is it? This buyer will not be buying stolen cattle. Yes, I know, but uh, just the same, I'm going to follow this lead. Oh, oh look, look, senor. Oh, one to try to take it out. Look, my fingers are caught both in the same place. Come on, please, I'll take it out. All right, all right. You see, that's my finger. Oh, 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 oh. Well, how does it work? Perfect. He's leaving in the morning. My plans always work perfect. I'll be waiting to see him at Wagon Springs. You see, doing it my way, no one will ever know what happens to him. Him and his cattle just disappear. Pecos, you're a shrewd one. Well, you got him herding his own cattle to pay my debt to Gordon. Come on, eh? Come on, boys. Get along there, little boy. Come on. Come on there, boy. Senorita, for you, we will always come back. You haven't told Sugar where you're going, have you? Oh, no, I intend to tell her after we got started. Now, remember, Betty, do exactly as I told you last night and uh, be sure no one is following you. Don't worry, I will. And another thing, uh, you better keep off that trail leading through uh, Lynch's ranch. I know a shortcut to the mouth. All right, get going. Come on, Sugar. I've got to go now. Goodbye, Lopez. Goodbye, my little senorita. Quit stalling. Stalling? And I'm doing all the work. 
Well, if you hear of a fellow, I got to push the cattle, I got to push the fence in here, and I got to take care of the horses. And he say, I'm sorry. Sorry, can't you imagine this? I'm sorry. Come on, Lopez. What's keeping you? Senor, uh, I'm so stuck on this place. Uh, something seems to be holding me here. <laughs> this is no time to get sentimental. He's on his way. Yeah, he's taking that little fellow with him. I'll take care of him, too. Who are they? Ah, uh, just a couple of saddle tramps that drifted through here. Well, you better get on your way, Pecos. I'll see him at Wagon Springs, then your troubles will be over. So long. So long. You better follow him, just in case he misses. Well, let's get back to the ranch. Dawson's look like they're up to something. Well, they're not making that ride for fun. Let's get them and find out. That's Lynch. We got to run for it.
Свет. Well, I hope you break your neck. Lopez, and I'll circle and go on ahead. Why do you do that? I got a hunch I should look that place over. Hurry up, hurry up, my little friends. Pretty soon you're going to be big stacks. Come on. <laughs> I didn't say you could reach for that, Pegasus. Tom, I didn't know it was you. And I didn't expect to find you here. Still up to your old tricks, huh? And after you promised me you'd go straight. Well, this is the first crooked deal I got into since I promised you I wouldn't. Oh, well, well. Hello, Pecos. How goes it? Hello, Lopez. All right, Pecos. You can save a lot of time if you'll just come clean with me. And when you reached here, my job was to get you then deliver the cattle to Gordon. That would have squared Lynch's debt. So Gordon is the one who's been buying the stolen stock, huh? Yeah, he's been operating about a year. That's all I want to know. Lopez, we'll arrest Lynch first, then we'll get Gordon. Pecos, help me with your evidence, and I'll see what I can do to make it easier for you with the law. That's a deal. Double crossed. What do you mean? Take us from Sterling or pals. I got a hunch he's the law. If he is, we're trapped. What do we do? Wait a minute, let me think. You better think fast, they're on their way here. I got it. Drifter, go and get the sheriff. The sheriff? Sure, you fight fire with fire, don't you? When he rides in here, we'll accuse him of the murder of Jim Dawson. But you can't prove it. We don't have to. The sheriff will arrest him on the charge, and we'll work the ranchers up to a lynching. Well, it ought to work. Get going, Drifter. Right, we'll get them when they ride in. They're coming. And the sheriff ain't here yet. We'll have to shoot it out. Get behind him. Peaceful to be peaceful. Off your horses.
Lynch, you're under arrest. Maybe they're not here. What's all this trouble about? I'll tell you, Sheriff. I demand you arrest that man for murdering Jim Dawson. Sheriff, you can't arrest a man for murdering me. It's Jim Dawson. But you can arrest Jerry Lynch for attempting to murder him. <laughs> Senor Tom. You were perfectly safe. I was behind you all the time. <laughs> Lopez, you're terrific. Thank you very much. When they began stealing Mr. Dawson's cattle, he asked a cattlemen's association to investigate. So they uh, sent us out here to find out what it was all about. Yes, and I was on my way to meet Tom when somebody tried to kill me. He was hurt pretty badly, so we got him to a doctor. Then we figured we'd better keep him out of sight and let him think they'd uh, really killed him until we could get to the bottom of this case. Well, I have to get along. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the bill of sale your dad gave me. It sure came in handy. And uh, you'll find the cattle over at Wagon Springs. Then you really must be going? I'll let you in on a little secret if you promise not to tell. There's uh, going to be a wedding done on the border. Oh. 
Well, let me congratulate you. Not me. Lopez. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got a date to get married. See, si, senorita. I finally trapped me a nice, cute little bear. Ha, 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 ha.